Welcome to another edition of the Gravestone Pros with North Country Memorials. Come with us today. We're gonna have a lot going on. Dad's gonna be working on doing some etching stuff and I'm not sure what I'm gonna be working on. You never know where the day will take us. So come along. So often when dad has an etching that he's gotta do and it's been a while, this is the process. What are we doing, Dad? Oh. Wondering why on earth God didn't give me a couple of organizing jeans. <laughs> Makes you wonder sometimes. So I, I know I, I know I have seen what I'm looking for. I don't no. think it'll be in there. But no. Okay. And we always do a uh, a hand drawing before he does, not always, I should say, almost always do a hand drawing for the customer approved before he etches. North Country Memorials. Yeah. No, no, you're, that, you're it's fine. We're in, uh, that's, that's what we do. We answer the phone when it rings. Yeah, it's definitely, a, it's definitely a niche business. Uh, I, I don't know what the exact number is, but there's, there's, uh, well, my understanding is there's well under 2,000 monument places in, in the US. Just got off the phone with a new subscriber and uh, gonna chat with him a little bit more. He's somebody that's interested in the monument industry, thinking about getting into it and just has some questions and stuff. So uh, another fun relationship to develop, but let's, uh, we'll get back to work here with what we're, we're going on. We're gonna find dad's file. So oftentimes when dad is, uh, when dad's doing an etching, especially if it's been a while since he did the drawing, the uh, the drawings tend to, they tend to disappear, and so we'll have to find them for him. I should have stuff on the computer, so I should be able to pull it up and find it there. I'll come over and show you this. So out in the plotter room here, there's the plotter computer and the plotter. Up behind us, I'm sure you've probably seen this in videos. We've got a system, but... Sometimes we have little pieces and smaller things that, um, you know, don't fit up there. So those are a little harder to keep track of. And reality is, uh, pretty much all of these are approved and they didn't get moved over there to where they're supposed to. And the one I'm looking for, oh, I forgot to look here. Okay, I was going to ask I forget that if we you had looked here. there. Uh, I don't, We've been at, putting smaller pieces of stuff. Yeah, looking at the file, one. looking at the file, um... It's see. it's one that we're that I don't I haven't drawn and it's it's okay. uh, it's going to be taken from a from a another from a you'll be drawn from another image that's, an image right yeah. that, that, which is uh, kind of what I thought so yeah. that actually gets into my OneDrive folder which that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys today so this is my OneDrive these are all my files for everything in my business pretty much. Um, except for banking stuff, what dad's going to etch. There it is. So I will print that out for him and we'll be good to go. Before I can print it out, I've got to open the program and measure, get a measurement of how many inches it should be. When you have a written size on something, you got to make sure that it is correct. Um, this is not written, but it shows the general size. So just waiting for that to pull up here. All right. So as we're looking at this, dad thinks that it's going to be a little bit small. So we may end up having to enlarge it a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is call the customer and just talk a little bit more about it. Now that I'm looking more, you know, seriously about actually getting it on the stone. Uh, and I kind of have an idea. I'd like to move the couple up into the heart. So I want to talk to the customer on that. And do you think you will do a practice on a... I'll do a practice. I'll do a practice on the on the, so uh, the you see face. These... I might do the whole thing. I may. I don't know. I, maybe I'll just do the whole thing. It'd okay. be nice to have anyway. Yep. So down here, you see we've got tiles. Most of those are ones that were a practice, and they show that one definitely was one. You practice that one. You've got another uh, tile. Do you know where it is out there with all the faces on it? And you did this, how many yeah, times did you do that face? Multiple. 10, 12 times? Yeah, multiple. Um, just the face part, he didn't do the whole thing. And then this was kind of his last practice before actually etching it on the stone. So he may do one of these uh, tiles. These tiles are what? Five, 10 bucks for a tile? So I think they're between five and seven. Yeah. Buy so them, buy them right at Lowe's. 
Yeah, they don't cost that people. much for the tile, and it's a cheap way to be able to do a practice. So those are actually we're gonna... tiles of the of the the granite that we use most. Those are tiles made from that granite. So yeah, um, yeah, it's the color. It's the exact color we're using yeah. all the time. I'll go ahead and get this printed off for Dad. See if my printer will work today. I always say printing is one of the hardest things. So oh, and there I'm getting a video chat from mom so we're gonna stop and talk to him a little bit dad had to leave oh uh, i saw mom called must be she needed something so the uh the facetime got cut off so dad ran did what he needed to do what were you doing dad uh mom needed my phone because she does uh remote piano lessons sometimes so. oh, okay and she can't do it with that with her she has to have the iphone she needs the iphone to facetime yeah. so Yep. All right, so we finish that stuff up, and then we are going to try and call Nam back here and see if we can uh, continue that conversation. I didn't know even where to buy monuments, so I called yeah. I called the 800 directory, and I said, I need a monument manufacturer, and they said, I said, whoever is looks like they might be the biggest one. So they gave, <laughs> they gave me Rock of Ages in Barrie, Vermont. Yeah which is uh, five hours from us. And they actually yeah. own, the, own the quarry up there. And when I called okay. them, they thought I wanted to franchise with them. And they said, we, we don't want to do it because uh, we've already got somebody in your area that, that uh, is a franchisee. And so I said, well, then, then give me the name of your biggest competitor. And they did, and the phone number. And I called their, their competitor and when they figured out, you know, this is a young guy that knows nothing, wants to start a monument business, they put me in touch with a sales rep that was an old guy. He was retired, but he still came in and worked per diem. And he held my hand through the whole thing, told me everything I needed to know that I had a question for. So uh, that was that was a uh, big, big help to me, for sure. Yeah, good for you. Back when they still had 411, right? <laughs> yeah. Dad just got back and found himself a tile that's got a little space on it for doing this etching. Um, what size is that there, Dad? I was starting to measure it. Yep. Six and a half. So it's about an inch bigger than what we've got shown. I've got a call into the customer to kind of talk with her about this stone that uh, it's going to go on. And rather than it sitting down here at, at about four or five inches, I want to bring it up and incorporate it into the bottom. So we'll still have lines from here and here, but it'll be superimposed over top. And uh, it actually will, <clears throat> it'll be a better way to do it. It'll look a lot nicer. And uh, anytime things aren't just cut and dried where this is here and this is here, one thing is superimposed over the other, I think it's much better art. And uh, it's part of what we're going for, something that stands out, looks nice. Yeah. So you'll be working on trying to etch that onto there yep. to, for practice? Yep, this was a practice okay. run. So this is a transfer of paper, not a trace paper, but a transfer paper. <clears throat> so this is going to get taped onto this stone. This will get laid over top, and then I will trace the rough outlines. And so what happens is, is when you trace on it, then you get whatever image is there, it comes right straight through and it's easily erased off. So here is that etching completed on the sample that dad was working on. Uh, I didn't end up getting the footage of the rest of it being done, but you saw kind of the starting of this process. I wanted to show you the, the way it turned out. It looks really nice and it's gonna look great on the stones, so. Yeah, looking forward to getting that done. We'll show you, hopefully, that getting finished in another video down the road. Well, I am bummed. I just sat here at my computer for the last 35 minutes, and I was going over my OneDrive folder and how I have everything laid out here and showing it all. And I got done and checked the file, and it worked for the first second. It was recording, so this is a pre-recorded screen and as I exited off of there it went blank and then all it showed was my cursor movements 
and they all just stayed there and I got more and more cursor movements. So that was the video. So my OneDrive folder um, video will have to wait for another day. I'm not gonna re-record it today, but I was kind of bummed. That is uh, too bad, but we got lots of other stuff to show you from today. So I think we'll have a good video anyways, but I will, uh, will re-record that sometime, but uh, I don't have the heart to do it after spending a half an hour. Actually spent about another half an hour working on getting it all set up and testing it to make sure this didn't happen. So I've got about an hour into it already, but we'll work on it another time. All right, thank you so much for coming along. Uh, today was a little bit crazy and that's just kind of how our days go sometimes. We uh, get here, we think maybe we're heading this direction or that direction and a uh, phone call comes, this happens, a customer stops and uh, many things that you weren't planning on a lot of times happen. I ended up uh, finishing the day with a customer coming in and making a sale, uh, which is it's always a good way to end the day and uh, so that was great but it's uh, it's funny how quickly it changes thank you so much for coming along make sure you do all the YouTube stuff for us leave a like leave a comment um, hit the little bell um, you got got to do the little bell I've never done it a single time in my life but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it for me so uh, take it with a grain of salt I guess <laughs> anyways thank you all for coming along and we will see you all next time